Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new video and today I'm going to be showing you how to start up the A320 fly-by-wire. This is the first part of our tutorial for the A320 fly-by-wire. We have our Delta delivery today and I'm going to be using some checklists. So I'll put the checklist I found online in the description below. So let's get right into it. Okay, as you can see here, we're at a cold and dark spot in the airplane. So what we're going to do first is we have to make sure we have all the charts and no TAMs ready. And then we also have to check the weather and the weather forecast and the ATIS right now. And also load our passengers, our cargo, and our fuel right now real quick. So you could go ahead and do that on your fly pad right here if you're going to load your passengers or fuel. Once you're at the tablet, you can import your SimBrief data, but I'll show you how to do that in the next video. So for right now, just wait to do all of these things in the fuel until after you get your SimBrief loaded in. Okay, now we're actually going to start up. There's a pre-flight check, but I'm just going to cut right to the chase here. I'm assuming you just loaded in a gate and you haven't done a flight before this, and then that you would have to do a pre-flight check. So right now we need to get the ground power unit. So come over here and make sure that's connected. Then make sure your throttles are at idle, and then go ahead and turn on both of your batteries. You should hear a click and a, and a couple beeps. And then you have to set your generator switches to on, which mine are already on, they're here and here. Next, set your external power to on right there. Turn that on. Turn that on. Some airports don't have it though, so make sure your airport has it. There are different rules if you don't have it, I'm just assuming you're at an international airport that has it. Next, set these ADIRS to nav. They take seven minutes to align, but I have mine so it aligns instantly. And then you could go ahead and adjust the brightness for your overhead panel lights. And now since you have your own power, the nav lights is on. And then once you get your fuel in your plane, then you could go ahead and turn on the seatbelt signs and the no smoking signs. And turn no smoke to auto. Then go ahead and look at the ATIS and then use the D ice if you need to. And then other than that, you're good to go. And in the next video, we'll show you how to set up your sim brief, load the fuel, and set up the flight plans. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.